Greetings children of the screen, your friendly neighborhood nerd scum here once again, coming at you with another quick thoughts video. This time focusing in on Pumpkinhead number four. Written by Colin Bunn, with art by Blackie Shepard and Kyle Strom. If you haven't been keeping up with this series, we find our classic 80s movie monster Pumpkinhead, demon of vengeance embroiled in a battle with his ilk. Demons representing the seven deadly sins, all being used as weapons in a blood feud between two warring hillfolk families, and the local sheriff Ferris is caught in the middle trying to maintain order. So previously in one of these videos, I said that there was going to be a four issue series, but I was mistaken, and it turns out there's actually going to be five, which is awesome, because I've been absolutely loving this book, and I'm not quite ready to see it come to an end. I'm not going to go too much into the plot on this issue because this book is mostly just a dope, action-packed, fast-paced monster slugfest. We're basically now into what would be the first half of the third act of a film, and this issue manages to maintain the appropriate momentum. It's essentially just several extended action chase sequences of monsters kicking each other's asses while our human characters just try to escape the carnage. And you know what? There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It is awesome. I love Shepard's artwork in this series, but man, once they really start going all out with the demons, his stuff really sings. All the demons have incredibly cool designs with a great blend of Lovecraftian and strange B-monster movie aesthetic. I mean, this one dude literally has horns coming out of his eye sockets. That is frickin' dope. While I'm certainly sad to see this title go, I cannot wait for the next issue and to see how it all comes to a head. Besides, you never know. Maybe they'll get a sequel series. Hell, with what they're doing with the mythology and this story, they could easily work this into a trilogy. While I was aware of some of the creative team on this book beforehand, after this I am definitely a fan of everyone involved and will be following whatever they do next. I would love to see them doing some more mainstream stuff just so they can reach a larger audience, but at the same time, if Dynamite brought them back to do some more of their horror IP comics, that would be equally as awesome. Or better yet, Maybe we'll get that Pumpkinhead trilogy I was talking about, and then maybe out of that they could like cross over with Vampirilla, or with the Army of Darkness, or one of the other comics that uh, Dynamite's currently putting out. You know, it'd be cool. I mean, a nerd can dream, can't he? Right on, guys. So I really enjoyed this issue, as I have all the previous one. This week, this book was freaking awesome, giving me everything that I wanted and a little bit that I didn't know I wanted. So for this issue, it's going to be getting 4 out of 5 GGs and a definite recommend. Right on, guys. So that was Pumpkinhead number four. I really super enjoyed it. Like I said, I've enjoyed every issue of this book. But what do you guys think? Did y'all check this one out this week? Did you check out the previous issues? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please leave a like and share it with some friends. That's more important now than ever with everything YouTube's been changing up on small YouTubers like myself. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit that little bell so you can get notifications on all the dope content I'll have coming out in the future. Also, guys, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I'll have the links for that in the description below. Thank you very much, children of the screen. I hope you all have a good one. Nerd scum, out.